it's Dr. Ariel Policano with GeniusBioFeedback.com, and I want to show you how to create a master branch. What is a master branch? A master branch is a great way to group together a bunch of custom libraries that are all related. And this makes it easier to test them all together instead of testing them with all of your libraries. So as you get your genius, you use your genius, you collect more libraries, you probably have 200, 400, 800 maybe libraries in your genius. And sometimes you just want to look at a certain segment like digestion, heart, emotions, and having a lot of all the libraries together is cumbersome. But selecting one library at a time for each client is also very time consuming. So I suggest you make a master branch that you can come back to for different areas. And you could also create a master branch if there are certain libraries that you like to use over and over again for a particular client. So let's go ahead and look at that. I'm in the system overview. So start from your system overview. Go to the navigation bar, which is at the upper right, the three horizontal lines. Tap on the navigation bar and go to libraries okay find the menu that says libraries all right right here we're going to tap on that from here we're going to tap on master branch right here master branch boom okay what are we going to do here you want to write down a list of all the libraries that you want to group together so we have one for heart health let's just go ahead and do Let's do a new one. Let's go ahead and delete these. So you can delete any of these by clicking to the left. Let's do it together. We're going to create a master branch at the bottom. Create it. Let's name it Heart Assessment Libraries. OK. Now it's going to pop up what we call a dialog box. And we want to pick the ones we want to test all together in our master branch. And let's go ahead and look at what those might be. So they would be things like blood pressure. Okay, so let's look and we can get a bunch of the blood pressure libraries. Let's get these all together. And then under H for heart. Okay, anything that has to do with the heart, we wanna test them all together. So let's go ahead and get those in there. All right, and now we're going to go OK. Now, if we, t if we go to Heart Assessment Libraries, we're going to see that they're all in here, OK? The reason we do that is so we can easily bring up all of these libraries at one time and see how they compare to each other. Let's look at that. So we have to go to Add the Master Branch. Now, even if you think all your libraries are assigned to all clients, we need to do this separately in a master branch. So we need to add it to the client, we need to find the one we want, and then we need to hit OK. All right, then we can go back to the libraries and test them all and we'll look at them. It's going to take a couple of minutes. So you could also create a master branch, name the person and don't identify them by last name, but you could say Mary P, her master branch. You can name the master branch after her. You don't want to have those where you could other people could see them. So just first name, sorry, first name, last, and then their initial for their last name. And then you can come back and like, these are the libraries we always want to test together for Mary P. Okay, and we're going to come back and go. we'll look at that in a moment. So now I'm going to use the search function. This is a really great function because we have all libraries assigned to all of our clients. And we're going to go in the search function and we're going to go type in the word heart. Okay, and it tells us right here, here are the heart assessment libraries right here. 
Now look what happens. Here are all the other libraries, which this could be another way that I could do it, but just so I see everything, including blood pressure, because blood pressure wouldn't come up here because this is an alphabetical search. So now I'm gonna go here and look at this. It gives me all the libraries and I can see how they stack up against each other. And what it tells me is the one that's the very, very most resonant for this person is the one that has to do with the different frequencies. So you can kind of see how they stack up against each other. This one is the most important one to look at. And then you can look within these subcategories because they're they actually represent individual libraries. So let's go ahead and tap on this heart health frequency one and it tells us to clear calcifications from the heart regulate the fats op optimally in the vessels, pacemaker of the heart, because everybody does have a pacemaker, not just one that was inserted surgically, pacemaker of the heart functions optimally, heart valves are functioning perfectly, systole and diastole in perfect rhythm, all of those things, okay? So now what we're gonna do is we could just go to quick balance, we could balance them, we could put the reds and the blues in, but the point is that this master branch contains all the things that we wanna test at one time. That is why we use a master branch. Let's look at one more example that you could do by going back to the navigation bar. Let's go all the way back here. Back to the navigation bar, libraries, master branch, create a master branch and let's say this is Mary P okay Mary P master branch because when Mary comes in we like to run these particular libraries for her so it's going to be okay we like to run the uh, we like to run all the brain libraries for her, okay? And she likes to get the emotion code library. So we're going to include all the emotion code. Um, she likes to get her food allergies looked at. She likes to get her digestion looked at. Anything like that, then you would include it, okay? So you're, this is going to cut down your work time because you know that every time Mary comes in, you're going to test these particular libraries, okay? So let's go ahead and check all of those. Then we hit okay. Now, we should have Mary right here, Mary P's master branch. We have to add it to her profile. This isn't her profile, but let's just imagine that it was. And so we find Mary's uh, master branch right here. We're going to select it. We associate it with the client. We then go back here and it allows us to do a retest right here, which is pretty cool. So we're going to be able to retest all the libraries by tapping begin analysis again. It's going to bring that up. We can, once again, we're going to use the search bar in order to search for it. So we're going to search for it within um, all the libraries, but I think you're going to like this because again, you don't have to fish around for the ones that Mary usually likes to have done. And later on, you can either delete her master branch and create a completely new one with the ones that Mary now likes to have done. Um, I don't think you can add to a master branch. I could be wrong. I think you're gonna have to recreate it, but this is a very, very good for the client. So you'll take some notes, figure out what you need to run, create that client-based master branch. Now let's go and we're gonna type in the, the name Mary. Remember, don't keep the um, last name in there, so for client confidentiality. All right, now here, this is fun, right? Because these are all the ones she likes to have done. We can immediately see which ones are more active for her like the liver gallbladder and the lung and the colon emotions having to do with those it probably means those organs are something's going on with them and also the emotions related to them so anyway this has been a video about how to create a master branch and why you would want to create a master branch. For more information about the very best in quantum biofeedback on the go, go to GeniusBioFeedback.com. GeniusBioFeedback.com. This is Dr. Ariel Policano, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much.